So it's been established that Beryl Finnegan is the woman Kamala's father, Donald J. Harris, said was his mother. In Kamala's writings, she confirmed that Beryl Finnegan was born to Iris and Patrick, and her father, he confirmed this too. Yeah, Donald J. Harris said that a woman named Beryl was his mother, and her parents were Patrick and Iris. So their stories line up there. According to Candace Owens, she indeed found the correct birth records for Beryl Finnegan. And I want to be clear, guys, we know for a fact this is the correct barrel. So we're not confused here and looking for more documentation when it comes to the birth or the marriage because the correct parents are listed. You can see um, Patrick Finnegan is listed. And so we know that Beryl's parents are Iris Finnegan and Patrick Finnegan. So that is the correct parent, the correct marriage certificate. So we don't need a bunch of documents speculating that it could be a different birth because her parents are listed and Kamala and her father have confirmed that her parents are Iris and Patrick Finnegan, okay? So we know those are the people that we are looking for. And again, birth records for that same Beryl Finnegan confirm that she died in 1960, four years before Kamala Harris was born. That bombshell revelation was made during Candace's investigation, leaving many unanswered questions like how in the world is Kamala Harris standing next to a woman in the 80s who died at least 20 years before? Like really, who is this woman standing next to her? I am telling you, something is not right here. How did nobody realize that Beryl died in 1960 and Kamala in her book published a photo of a grandparent who she wasn't alive to meet, okay? Where is the real Beryl? I like a photo of Beryl, a photo of any of Beryl's siblings literally disappeared without a trace. This is the only reason, okay, that people are convinced that Kamala must have some black in her family is because of these alleged relatives. And it's just ironic because her family is extraordinarily Irish white, extraordinarily wealthy slave owner owning descendants. And the only reason we have this image in our head is because Kamala's father in 2020, just after Kamala published that photo in her book, Kamala's father in 2020 similarly decided to publish an essay where he only included in all of his white Irish slave only owning family, he only decided to include a photo of Miss Iris and Miss Chrissy, who look like the same person to me. Why would he do that? We've got a big old family, got a ton of wealth, everyone's got a slave. Why did you decide in 2020 to publish a photo of these two women just like Kamala did in her book? You know, I'm still wondering who is the real Beryl Finnegan? It's also not lost on me that of all these family members, these are the two that Kamala made public. She obviously did this attempting to solidify blackness because her mother is completely Indian and her black American status was being questioned back in 2019, mostly because for years she presented as an Indian American woman. And California's Attorney General Kamala Harris has scripted history as she won the U.S. Senate seat from the state, becoming the first Indian American to achieve this feat. California's Kamala Harris is the first Indian American U.S. Senator. Becoming the first Indian American woman to be nominated as a vice presidential candidate in America. I stand before you as the first candidate for vice president of the United States of South Asian descent. I'm working to earn the vote, not assuming I'm going to have it because I am black, but because the policies and the perspectives I have understands what we must do to recognize the needs of all communities. And I intend to be a president for all people. And then she started going on The Breakfast Club, talking about Tupac and Howard University. That's when she really started pandering to the black community all of a sudden. Now, both sides of her father's family is filled with a bunch of white Irish people. Donald J. Harris's father, Oscar, his father was Joseph Harris. Joseph Harris was a white man and a descendant of one of the most powerful slave masters in Jamaica, Hamilton Brown. He was a slave master and a politician with a whole town named after him, over 1,100 slaves. But yeah, her father's paternal side is Irish. The maternal side is the only side they can try to find a black grandmother, which is why out of their whole family, Kamala released these two pictures. That's it. Both are very sketchy though, especially the one they claim was Beryl, the alleged grandmother who died before she was born. 
Another reason why it's sketchy is because so far it's looking like Beryl's father was also Irish. Patrick Finnegan specifically moved to Jamaica from Ireland with his Irish wife to colonize Jamaica, just like Hamilton Brown on Donald J. Harris's paternal side. You see a bunch of white men and white women all through his bloodline. So if Patrick Finnegan was white Irish, it's a very slim chance that he produced this woman right here, the woman they called Beryl. Yeah, the same woman that died before Kamala was born, who just happened to appear in a picture with Kamala in the 80s. Even if Kamala is telling the truth and somehow had a time machine and this is Beryl and the other woman is Beryl's mother Iris, if Patrick Finnegan, the white man, is her father, then Beryl would be a mulatto. I don't see mulatto anywhere on this woman. So who is that woman that is in the photo with Kamala, okay? Beryl Finnegan, now that looking more into her grandmother, uh, was definitively not black. Now, how do we know this? Because Beryl, that woman that you just saw, her father was Patrick Al Alhanasus Finnegan, who was an Irish slaver, okay? So that woman that you just saw, at a bare minimum, has to be half white. An Irish slaver is who her father was. Doesn't look like that. I, I don't know, but I know that that is not a picture of Beryl, and I know that Beryl is at a minimum half white, okay? Because the father was an Irish slaver. So that coupled with the fact that the real Beryl died before Kamala was born, they're looking real funny style right now. And here's another thing. It's very convenient that Kamala needed some black support, so she chose to put out these two pictures. Obviously to submit herself as a black woman because she couldn't find any other black family members. Which was another point brought up in the investigation and why Candace believed they were service for Kamala's family that she was now trying to pass off as her own family. Because this is now getting dark and twisted and my suspicions about Kamala Harris potentially pretending that the help was her family maybe have been confirmed. I'm gonna let you guys judge. Don't wanna get way ahead of myself. Basically someone came for Janet Jackson and I answered the door. It was a discrepancy that was in Kamala's book. A woman that she said was her grandmother named Beryl, a picture of her and her grandmother Beryl. Here it is, visiting my paternal grandmother Beryl in Jamaica. And then I did just a brief search online and found out that Beryl allegedly died four years before Kamala was born. So that's a major red flag. Then I had a little bit of a gut instinct. The photos that were being presented of Kamala and her grandparents, great grandmother and Beryl, I just felt that the women or the woman, because I think they look remarkably alike, I just feel that maybe this woman was the help. Now, I'm not saying that because she's black. I'm not racist against black people, I am black. I'm saying this because there's just a lack of emotion there. Like, I don't know if it's just my grandparents, but when they're with you, they're like super cuddly and cute. And this woman's just kind of very serious each time that she's being featured here. I'm telling you, this is absolutely crazy. The mainstream media will never do their own research on any of this. They're gonna pretend like they don't see it. Candace says somebody came for Janet Jackson and she answered the door. So listen, this upcoming week, don't be surprised when you see the Kamala Harris defense team going back crazy. They will try to argue with you. They'll be cursing you out. Basically, they're gonna keep up with the same abuse. Let's go ahead and get the conversation started. Let me know what you think about this below. Special thank you to Carrie C. I appreciate you, Carrie, for all of your support, as well as Big Sneed, Byron H., Edmund, and Dark Power. If you want to show your support for the channel too, you have to use PayPal for now. The link is below. Ladies, fellas, want a balance analysis? Want the truth from a woman's perspective? Then you're going to want to subscribe to this channel and don't forget to like and share.